Grand Theft Auto 6 is ready for reveal. Any day now, Rockstar will have a teaser trailer ready to unveil, and it's been 10 years since the last GTA, and the announcement and reveal could quite literally break the internet. Grand Theft Auto is one of the biggest and most popular AAA video games, and we have an insight into what the game will look like, how it will play, and when we will see it release. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you for checking out this video. Today we're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto, a look into what the game will look like on the new engine, and when we will see it release, and gameplay details. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel, hit the bell, and let's talk about Grand Theft Auto 6. Take Two CEO Zal Strelnik said that they make big promises for what GTA 6 will achieve, saying, quote, with development of the next entry of the Grand Theft Auto series well underway, the Rockstar Games team is determined once again to set creative benchmarks for the series, our industry, and for all entertainment, just as the label has done with every one of their frontline releases." Close quote. A well-known leaker, Tom Henderson, has stated that GTA 6 will be set in the modern day rather than the 1980s setting, which some people have been hoping for. Rockstar is so brilliant with nostalgia, and it's disappointing that they won't be able to recapture that 80s feel of Miami but they have some of the most modern themes in mind for the 2020s GTA 6, and I believe that Woke will only make an appearance as a thing for them to parody and make fun of. Their humor and penchant for mocking or celebrating pop culture could span more than just a modern version of Miami. Henderson also discusses the potential for the game's map to grow and change over time, likening the system to the one used in Fortnite. This will likely be for the new iteration of GTA Online, which will continue to have seasonal events and change the map or expand it as they go along. There are also rumors that this version of Grand Theft Auto will expand to other parts of Rockstar's version of America, meaning they could transform the southern Louisiana area from Red Dead Redemption 2 into a modern cityscape and use the online mode. And there are also rumors that the fully remastered or transformed map from Grand Theft Auto's trilogy could be possible and a new polished version of San Andreas with Liberty City could be brought into the digital playground online. That could include Los Santos, San Fierro, and Las Venturas. This is something the fans have been asking for for over a decade. Let's talk about what kind of things will be pushing the boundaries to make this game more immersive and more impactful and well worth that 10 year wait since Grand Theft Auto V. Let's talk about what Grand Theft Auto 6 is made of. It starts with Lucia and Jason. They are a Bonnie and Clyde-like duo. A script leak suggests you can either have a passive or romantic relationship amongst Lucia and Jason. They likely won't have to be together for every mission, and certain missions can be completed with either cool, pragmatic, or romantic relationships with the two characters. This heavily implies that a romance between the two isn't required. It's unknown if you can choose to play as Jason or Lucia for the majority of the game, as they will likely have their own main missions integral to the story and campaign. But swapping between characters will be seamless, and possibly you'll be able to mold the story from the perspective of the character you choose between Jason and Lucia. But let's talk about the gameplay. Take-Two has patented a new locomotive technology in order to ensure Grand Theft Auto 6 has highly dynamic and realistic animations. Rockstar is using a proprietary new software feature for the Rage Engine called System and Method for Virtual Character Locomotion, which is an animated locomotion control based on some of the core technology that they architected and implemented at Rockstar Games for Grand Theft Auto 5 and into Red Dead Redemption 2. Looking at 2012's Max Payne and the visceral combat, reactionary physics-based gunplay and gunplay victims, this is fueled by the Euphoria engine, and we can get excited about a whole new proprietary engine that meets the standards of what will be Grand Theft Auto 6. Instead of designing separate animations for each character or situation, the Rage engine will use building blocks of this new engine system to have a more diverse and lifelike animation reaction. You'll see characters moving in ways that match the weather, their energy level, and their injuries, making the game feel more immersive. They said, quote, it's like having characters that can adapt to different situations, making the game world feel more real and thrilling, close quote. 
you'll be limited to carrying only a few weapons at a time like you did in Max Payne 3, like one or two larger guns and a pistol, with your playable character physically holding and managing firearms in real time. It's also been rumored that you'll be able to stash extra weapons or bigger firearms in your car or car trunk, just as we saw in Cyberpunk in its latest update. This can make combat situations more tense as you send Jason or Lucia over to your vehicle to grab a bigger weapon when a big firefight breaks out. Immersion will be a keystone for Grand Theft Auto 6 as you interact with the world and utilize their physics-based system. Many complaints about Red Dead Redemption 2's realistic interactions with weapons and with combat were that it was too slow or sluggish just to get that level of realism and pacing. Knowing the DNA of Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto games, it's more likely that they have taken that realism in Red Dead Redemption 2 and sped it up to a proper pacing to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. But not just the guns, there is more excitement about one of the biggest advancements in Grand Theft Auto for this new engine, and that's the car modeling and physics-based driving. Much like the advancement we saw from Grand Theft Auto 4 in 2008, the car physics in this game have been brought to a realism that has never been seen before with lumbering, weighty suspension-driven vehicles, heavy braking causing the body of the car to roll forward, and the momentum of those cars will be more challenging and difficult compared to Grand Theft Auto 5, but also will create more immersive and interactive car-based impacts, collisions, and make car chases way more dynamic with an improved physics system. With more compute power in the current consoles, modeling of suspension and weight of cars will become a game within itself as the interactivity with the world will be more vibrant and dynamic, smashing through barriers, plowing cars off the roads, and getting into high-speed chases in real time. Leaks and insiders are fairly confident that Grand Theft Auto 6 is set to release as early as fall 2024, meaning that the reveal next month will give us a one-year wait. But Rockstar often shuffles the release date as they perfect the launch of a game that is rarely ever broken. Barring a delay next year, it's more likely that the release of Grand Theft Auto 6 will be spring 2025. And there is no credible information that PlayStation will have any sort of exclusivity with Grand Theft Auto 6 outside of marketing or possibly online perks. Rockstar can reveal the game or show a trailer anytime, but if Jeff Keighley paid for an exclusive reveal for the Game Awards, that means we could truly see what this game looks like on December 7th. The next level graphics immersion, realism, and open world sandbox gameplay is what we've been waiting for and is usually delivered by Rockstar. Few games ever reach this level of hype, and Grand Theft Auto 6 will be one of the biggest hallmarks of gaming this generation. This is Cole Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I've been excited about Grand Theft Auto 6 because not many people know Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is one of the games that uh, it really hooked me into gaming at a certain point. It was crazy. And when I got Grand Theft Auto 4 and got an Xbox 360, I haven't looked back and now I play way too much video games. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new weekly content. If you want to further support the work we do here on the Cole Eastwood channel, you can join the channel membership. Hit that button below. Be part of the channel members. You get early access to videos and you get entered into monthly merch giveaways like this X and C shirt that I designed. But you get to pick when you're the winner. So if you also want to know more about the news and hear more deep dives into the leaks and where all this is coming from and what to expect, check out the X and C podcast that runs every Monday at 5 p.m. And there, Mag and I will talk about the gaming news. And sometimes I have guests on there, so it's a pretty good show. Thanks for checking that out. But I want to know, in your opinion, what is going on with Grand Theft Auto 6? Is it really in Miami? Is it going to be spanning more locations? Or is this something we'll only see online? Let me know what you think and write in the comments also. What is your predicted release date for Grand Theft Auto 6? While you're in there, as I always say, please remember, be nice.